that's the end of that. Come on, gotta keep moving. But the revelation awaits. Make now for the storm sender and let judgment be passed. Nox! You okay? Yeah. Another reminder to receive the blessing. That divine power is just waiting for you. What is it? Apparently all this is taking a toll on Luna. And I should go to her. In dealings with the gods, life is often the currency. Within the walls of water, the oracle awaits. The coming of the king. Do not delay. I know. O oh, king. Journey to Fosha, the eastern hollow. The seal has been lifted. Deep within the heart of rock lies the runestone, the portal to power. No other can be allowed to find it. <sighs> the last one's in the cave. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Finally, time to meet with the storm sender. You'd better look your best. <laughs> Let's go.
first Titan, now Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freya must feel. If the strain of the rites is as Gentiana suggested, I fear she's far worse off than we are. That must feel good. <laughs> Knocked! You gotta yeah, try this! I think they heard you. After Rama, we go see Leviathan, right? Indeed. I dare say Lady Luna Freya seeks the Hydrian as we speak. Which means another right, and a heavier burden. Hope she can hold up. Now, where did that car of ours drive off to? We better find her before we set sail. Can't leave the old girl behind. Indeed. Umbra's the only one making deliveries. Wonder what Prina's up to. Haven't seen her. Probably because she's traveling around with her owner. You know, I really miss that dog. Amazing. The power of the gods in the palm of your hands. Never dreamt I'd see lore come to life before my very eyes. Leaving insomnia was eye-opening, but this is mind-blowing. Come on, pick up. No luck? Probably got her phone on silent. We're still gonna visit the other royal tombs, right? Of course. We've simply gone off road for a spell. Noct could definitely use a hand from his ancestors. The dead can wait, but gods aren't always forgiving. Let us not keep the full jury in waiting. Thanks for the ride. Here we are, Fosha Hollow. No telling what waits inside. Stay sharp, always. Better take this one. Maybe for you. Pretty easy for me, though. <clears throat> On second thought, maybe... Let's move. Hold on a sec. Seriously? Ah, I hate these things. Let me give the orders. Anybody up for a light Just workout? Keep it short. And the goose dog. That's hot. Yeah. <laughs> 
What? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I can taste test for you. Know it. Show yourself already! Cool it. How come that lady's helping you out anyway? Gentiana? Yeah. Is she like your fairy godmother or something? I think she's more a messenger of the gods.
Lady Lunafreya doing all right? Probably. She pasted in a little nature stamp. A stamp? She's opted for simpler modes of communication to indulge our indolent prince. She usually sends pictures and flowers. I send back stickers and stuff. Noct, what are your plans for after reuniting with Lady Luna Freya? What was she talking about? Beats me. Oh, something about her baby? Yeah, if it's anything like her, I ain't going near it. That's the last runestone. Oh, finally. All right, you're up, Noct. <laughs> So, need any last-minute souvenirs? Snakeskin, maybe? You know what? I'm good. Is it the power of the storm? Eh, 
I expected more fire and brimstone. Some gods are friendlier than others, I guess. But not all of them. Poor Luna. Perhaps you'd better console her in person. Just a boat right away. Lose that scowl along the way. Well deal. Hey, it stopped raining. Guess Rama finally got sick of showers. What's that sound? When we saw. Yeah? Hey, Highness, about your car. Yeah? Well, I found her, but she's out of base. Oh. Now, I can handle garage folk, no problem. But sweet talk in the Empire? That'll take some doing. Don't worry about it. Yeah? We'll figure it out. You sure about that? Yeah, thanks for the heads up. Later. Who was that? Cindy. What? You can't talk to her like that. Yeah, I can. I just did. And did she have any choice words for you? Yeah. The Regalia's at an Imperial base. Oh, boy. Guess that just leaves one question. When do we retrieve her? I'd say now. This is nothing more than conjecture, but I suspect that ship was due to arrive far earlier. The thunder and lightning must have slowed it down. There's a chance they intend to transport the Regalia back to Niflheim. We ought to thank the Thunder God for buying us some time. But that time is running out. Yeah, let's run in and ride off. Easy now. See you, Slowpoke! I'm going on ahead. Better keep up. Cindy is the sweetest girl ever. Here we go again. Going out of her way to help us these past couple days. I'm sure she's had better things to do. Oh, well, for a lost cause. Now I feel bad for turning down the courtesy car. A courtesy car is no regalia. Hmm. Would have felt like cheating. Besides, Cindy's a big girl. So, you think she'll call again soon? Soon, huh? <laughs> Not soon enough for you, lover boy. Right now, you're still gathering your powers, but what do you do once you've found them all? The calling is only a set of guiding principles. Well, hopefully it'll guide him into taking down the Empire once and for all. Yeah, like the sound of that. Messages. Your ancestors have our backs, and the gods are on our side. How cool is Very, that? When you put it that way, Empire will get what's coming to him. Certainly doesn't seem as unlikely as it once did.
What is the king's calling exactly? Well, become best buds with the gods, maybe? Legend has it the king once stood alongside the six in the battle to banish the darkness. Darkness seems awfully vague. Still can't get through. Perhaps she's unable to answer. But I told her to be ready and pick up when I call. Let's hope she's all right. Nice riding with you. Ah, thanks, buddy. We'll meet again. Some kind of fortress. Yeah, a port of fortress. Those walls don't look so portable, though. They are remnants of the old war, and the Imperial Army has availed itself of the added protection. Entry will not be easy. This looks good. So, any bright ideas, Ignis? A dark one, as it were. A frontal assault would leave us exposed, but if we move under cover of night, we might be able to infiltrate the base unnoticed. And until then? We learn all we can about the base's design and attempt to narrow down the Regalia's location. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. Sounds good, Specs. All right! We're gonna get our wheels back! Our goal is the Regalia. The last thing we want is to engage an entire garrison. Avoid detection at all costs. In and out before it gets light, then. Indeed. Even if it means leaving the task unfinished, we withdraw before we overstay our welcome. Together on my signal. Until then, hold position. Three, two, one, now. All right. Not bad. Might still be hope for you. Stop. What? Searchlights. We're clear. Tread warily. All right. Magitech armor. Don't want to mess with one of those. We shouldn't have to, if we keep to the shadows. Right.
Should be able to cash this in. Impeccable. There's the old girl. She's a real sight for sore eyes. And none the worse for her time in Imperial hands. What have we here? Change of plans. Our new objective is to clear a path for the regalia. Strike hard and fast! The way I like it. Take out the trash. Advancing strategy. <laughs> To it. We'll take out the generator and all enemies in the area. No more stealth? Our cover's blown. Go to town. Yes, sir! The entire base is fair game. Hold nothing back. The havoc keeps the enemy off balance. Thank <laughs> you. 
the rest of the garrison. The fun part. Let's go to town. Dude, that was hardcore! And it did the trick. The place is dead. Rest in pieces. Come on, let's grab the regalia and split. Piece of cake, huh? Hmm, <laughs> this part is. Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this.
Ah, oh, guys? Long has it been, Noctis. Bravis. You receive the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Watch it. Be still, all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the chosen king. Awful high and mighty for an imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I do not serve, I command. The king's sworn shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. Hey! Wanna go? Should the Chosen fall, that too is fate. I'd say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens, we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? Ravis Nox Fleuret, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freyo. Gladdy. What's wrong? I let you down. I never made it to Kayem. The Empire came while you were gone. None of us said a word about Noct. They just showed up and then. <sighs> Poor Jared. What do you mean? What there happened to Jared? There was nothing we could do! Hmm? <laughs> it's... not right. We should have been here. I couldn't stop them. But I won't let the Empire get away with it. They'll pay for what they've done. I promise. I believe in you, Prince Noctis. <laughs> I'm taking Talcott. And we're going to Kayim. We... We can't just stay here and do nothing. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. 